Here's where things get stupid. The pitch scale option here is a slider and it goes up and down in 4.25 cent increments. Our plugin of the week this week is something a little bit strange. Have you ever been in a situation where you need to change something? You need to put it up or down a certain number of semitones or a certain number of cents or a certain number of hertz and you've not been able to do it. Well, it's easy to do with a guitar because guess what? You just tune your guitar to the tones that you want. But what about if you've got a loop or a keyboard instrument or some other instrument? Is there a way to do it? The answer is for free in GarageBand, sort of, maybe ish. The reason is that anytime that you're taking a sound and you're manipulating it, you are going to lose quality in that sound. That all being said, if you want to give it a go, I'm going to show you how here. Now, I've got a loop in here already. This is just one that I've recorded. It's my, uh, it's actually from another video I did. It's a power chord in G. We've got a clean power chord here. It sounds like this. So we can throw an amp sim on this. We can do a bunch of things. In fact, let's just do that, just, just to make it sound a bit cooler. Let's come in here and throw it onto just one of our default GarageBand amps because our GarageBand amps are pretty cool. So why don't we go and we'll chuck a distorted tone on here. It's going to give us the uh, the vintage stack there and the glam rock tone. Is this going to sound cool as a glam rock tone? Let's grab it, chuck it down here and play it down on this one. No, it doesn't sound good at all. Forget, forget I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to leave it as clean. And the, it's a good thing that we are leaving it as clean because there is a uh, an option in here. If we hit the mixer button here and we go to our plugins and EQ, I've already added it in here. It's this one. It's the AU New Pitch. Now, the AU New Pitch will help you give your sound a new pitch. Yeah, it's in the title. It does what it says it does. To add it, we hit the edit button on any track here. You hit plus. You hit the audio unit extensions, and these are these orange Apple AU extensions that you have down the bottom here. Have you ever seen these? These are basically brought across from GarageBand or from, from Mac OS. They're the built-in iOS audio unit plugins, and you have them, but you may have to enable them. And there's another video that I've got that shows you how to enable them. You just need to go to the settings options and go to GarageBand and enable iOS plugins. For, very super simple to do, and you'll be off to the races and good to go. So if we tap on this one, the AU New Pitch. Now, if we tap this to open it, here you go. Pitch scale in sense and an overlap setting, and then we've got a peak looking setting here. As I said at the front, I'm going to warn you that as soon as you start changing a tone, as soon as you start using this, it's not going to sound as good. You're going to introduce artifacts, especially if you're going down, but even if you're going up in tone, it's going to add some artifacts here. Now, what is a cent? That's something else to explain here. Cents, 100 cents is one semitone. So 1,200 cents is an entire octave, 12 semitones. 100 cents is one semitone. Here's where things get stupid. The pitch scale option here is a slider and it goes up and down in 4.25 cent increments. Now, why is it doing that? I think it's got something to do with the fact that that's the Hertz scale because I'm pretty sure that 31 cents, or someone correct me if I'm wrong here, because we're, we're doing this uh, live here in the chat. It's either 31 or 32 cents that is like eight Hertz, the difference between 440 Hertz and 432. Now, one of the use cases for this is to actually scale your, your tone down here. Let's say someone gives you a track and they've recorded it at 432 Hertz. Now, 440 Hertz, which is your A tone, is the standard. But there are a lot of folks who are like, nope, 432 is what I like because there's a lot of studies into it. No, just go into your Googles and search 432 hertz. You'll find a whole treasure trove of stuff. Uh, but yeah, if we come down here and we go, say let's bring this down 31.2, and you can see where the clunkiness comes in. There's no way to just enter a figure. You gotta put it like that. But let's say we bring this tone down like that. We've got this plugin on here now. With it off, this is what this uh, loop sounds like. And now if we turn on that new pitch, guess what? It's slightly lower, but it is also implementing a few little uh, artifacts in there, right? Now you can use things like this overlap feature. If you can adjust this around and try and find something that makes it sound a bit better, because this will, will change the tone a little bit if we hit play.
And you can also experiment with this with your peak looking. If we turn that off, it gives us this. <laughs> Which uh, doesn't do so well. So uh, yeah, can you do it? Yes, does it sound great? Not particularly. But once you start layering things up, it can actually be okay. And I've actually used this on drum sounds primarily to get that sound. Now, can you do semitones here? Well, yeah, you can. It's the same sort of problem here is if we come into this one, here's one I prepared earlier. What I should probably do is create a GarageBand template that has a whole bunch of tracks with just the AU new pitch set to particular numbers of cents. Because here I've got it at 300 cents because what you have to do is kind of go up and down and it'll slowly go up and down different amounts until you get it to the right amount. So now we've got this at 300 cents up, which is going to take us up three semitones. So with this one off, we're down here, down here in G. If we want to bring it up three semitones, which is G, G, A, B, <laughs> question mark, then we can turn this on and... And there you go. So we can turn it up. The, it, it does not sound super good. There are other options, of course. This is the free way to do it. There's a, a an app called Audio Stretch, which I believe I've prepared earlier. Here's what I prepared earlier. Here's another, here's another tone that we've got here. And this is in Audio Stretch. So we can play it here. And this actually uses a much higher quality engine. So if you wanted to do that th same three semitone up pitch, we can do that here. And you get a much better quality tone. So this is about a $10 app. So if you really want to change the uh, the pitch of your different sounds, I would recommend Audio Stretch. But if you want to play around in GarageBand, you can do this. Now, there's one other option here. You might be saying, Pete, there's already a, a plugin. It's called the Vocal Transformer. Why can't I just use that? Well, you can. You can use the Vocal Transformer. This one, however, only does it in semitone. So this isn't going to work with your 440 to 432 hertz stuff. But if you wanted a quick way to do your three semitones, you can come in here and again... And because this is designed for vocals, you've also got a form knob here. So you can play around with this and try this out. And you can quickly hear there that at the end of the day, the best option is to keep things in the original key that they should be in. Because anytime you do this sort of stuff, it doesn't work so well. However, what it can be cool for is if you're using it on something like a drum loop. So if I came in here and I've got a few drum loops in here. So let's grab this, uh, this hip hop loop. And we'll bring it down onto here and we'll solo this track now. If we wanted to uh, change the tone of this one, at the moment it sounds like this. <laughs> We've still got that one solid. We don't want that because it's going to be at a different speed now. Not a bad loop, yeah? But what if we wanted to change this up? We wanted to keep it at 96 BPM, but we wanted to change it up and just give it a bit of a different feel. Well, yeah, we can come in here. And the good thing about, uh, about rhythm is you don't really have to worry. Where is it? New pitch. You don't really have to worry about what exact frequency it's at or exactly the number of semitones. So we can just chuck this up a bit higher. And we can get a, a different kind of feel, right? Oh, I've killed it. Sometimes you... Oh, no, I haven't. It's just... It doesn't go there. So if you want like an interesting detuned kind of tone in some of your beats and some of your, uh, your loops, then using that to drop it down can be cool. So again... I get asked about this sort of stuff a lot and for free plugins, for experimentation and for just having fun, the AU New Pitch and even the Vocal Transformer, jump in, play around with them. They can be a lot of fun.